Hello, welcome to my video blog. Today we're going to be looking at the Piccolo Cantilla, which is the smallest member of the Cantilla family, and also I'll show you a little bit of one of my uh, ten string cantillas as well. So this is a Piccolo Cantilla. It's around about 15 inches in length. It has uh, five strings and it's tuned to an octave D tuning, which is an octave higher than the standard uh, five string instrument. The five string piccolo is used mainly uh, to accent, if, you, if you're playing an ensemble group and you've got several people playing five strings, this can be used to give it an extra sparkle to the sound, a slight uh, variation. You can play along with someone else who's playing the, long, the longer five string cantilo and you can just play the harmonics. Um, to enhance it. You can also use it, make these as a gift or as um, or as a travel instrument. You can use these as a travel instrument to practice your techniques. Um, for this instrument I've used the simple construction. Uh, there's just one level. Um, it's about one inch thick and the the tail block isn't hollowed out, uh, it's left flat here. Um, I've used recycled mahogany and some old cedar I had, and a maple top on this example. Um, the inlay is simply let in on the surface, as you can see. Now, in the plans for the instrument, I suggest that you use this size of string, uh, 13 size. Um, now that's fine. That, that you can get, you can tune this up to G if you if you want to. Um, gives a lot of flexibility for the tuning. However, if you're playing, if you want more volume and you're playing with lots of people, I do suggest uh, putting at least probably this size, 15s, on the thicker strings, maybe up to a 14 on the top string, uh, and this will give you um, it'll be slightly less shimmering, but you get more volume and it'll probably keep its tuning a little bit better if you're if you're being quite heavy with it. Um, but again, I think these need to be played probably with nails or a plectrum to get the best volume um, from the sound. Okay, another way. Um, let me just show what I've done. This is another example I've made. Um, now with this one, I've made it exactly the same way of a top as I do in my standard five strings. In which case I've sawn across here and I've removed a portion of the head block. Um, as you can see I've also made it quite thick, I've increased it to one half inches as well. Um, this is just, a, it doesn't add anything to the sound, doesn't make it louder or quieter, it makes it a little bit, uh, makes it feel nice in the hands if you're, uh, if you're holding it. Um, but it's an extra thing you can do, but it's not necessary for the instrument. I'm just going to show you an example of how you can play along with, with someone else. I'm going to use my own backing track uh, and, and do a little uh, demonstration. The plans for the five string piccolo cantilever are available on my CD ROM here. Um, they're also available as a download if, if you already have the, other pla the older version of the CD. Um, this instrument is one of my new 10 string cantilas. It's a custom model. Um, it has a runic inscription with ohm inscription and a Triskelly um, trinity sort of figure at the um, symbol at the end.
and it's an open back model, um, pretty much standard to all uh, the plans that I sell online. Thanks so very much for watching. I uh, hope to see you again. Bye.